It's Wednesday, May 2nd. Welcome to Pastor Bob Daly. Tina, my friend from Denmark, said, How can you trust in God's promises? You know, trust is a word that we really throw around a lot these days, isn't it? You see it on a bank, and honestly, trust is more than just a word on a bank. How do you trust? What do you do, for instance, when a bank says, Trust and Savings Bank? We've learned not to trust them now, haven't we? What do you do when a friend says, Trust me, just trust me, and then they let you down? Trust is not an easy thing. And here's where we get a little confused. You know, we feel like if you really love somebody, you also trust them. If somebody does something really bad to you and you forgive them, you feel like, okay, now you have to trust them unconditionally too. You know what? Here's good news. You don't. In fact, you shouldn't. You know, a quick trip through the book of Proverbs tells you that it's not a good idea to trust somebody who has proven themselves to be untrustworthy. Trust is something, folks, that we earn. We trust people because they've earned our trust. And you can't expect anybody to trust you unless you've been trustworthy to them. It's kind of frustrating sometimes, isn't it? Well, it happens all the time in marriage. You know, the wife says, honey, I can't trust you anymore. I love you, but you know, you've really destroyed my trust. I trusted you with this or this and you let me down. Well, those are things that we throw around a lot. They've almost become buzzwords for us, and we've learned not to trust each other so many times. So these days, trust is difficult at best. Now somebody comes and says, you have to trust God. How do you do that? How do you do that, first of all, when trust doesn't come easy to us? Secondly, when you've found so many people to be untrustworthy. And thirdly, you don't know what to do with trust. Because it seems like you can't trust anybody. How then are you supposed to trust God that you don't even know? You know, that's a great question. And I think God knows this process. You know, the Bible says, trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Don't lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make your paths straight. Well, how do you get to trust God? Well, you give him your trust. Now, I'm not saying that you begin to trust him explicitly, hugely, right off the bat. Some people would tell you, (coughs) excuse me, that you have to. But you know, folks, I don't think that's humanly possible. I know in my walk with the Lord, I've started to trust him a little more at a time. And I've gotten to the place where I trust him a lot. Why? Because he's proven himself in the little things. I can trust him with the big things. Now, there's two things that are important here. First of all, that I understand that trust is something that has to be interpreted correctly And secondly, trust is something that's difficult for me. Let's do the second one first. When I place trust in someone, I'm kind of going outside of my comfort zone. You've done that, haven't you? You place your trust in somebody and you think, oh man, what have I done? Or I'm not sure this is going to work out. And as we say in the U.S. here, you, you sit on pins and needles watching and hoping that things will work out. So it doesn't come easy for us, and to kind of pretend that it does isn't realistic. And secondly, how do you trust God with that? And how do you look at it realistically? You know, people say, I don't trust God because he let this happen or this took place. We have all kinds of excuses And the problem isn't that God wasn't trustworthy, it's that we don't understand how he works. It's like the wife that says, you know, I trusted that my that my husband would bring flowers home today because 
it's our six month anniversary. Well, ladies, first of all, good luck with that. <laughs> you'll, you'll be doing very well if your husband remembers your one year anniversary. Six months, he's probably not going to. You will, he won't. You know, that's something that women remember. They're a little more on the romantic side with those kinds of things than guys are, I'm sorry to say. But if she expects that and she trusts that he's going to do it, she's going to be very disappointed. And when he comes home and he doesn't hunt, she's going to say, you are trustworthy. Well, he's really not. It just didn't occur to him. He doesn't think the same way. And that's not how he does things. And maybe that's a bad example in how to trust God, but it does get the point across. The Bible says, seek the Lord where he may be found. In other words, know who he is and know how he acts and how he reacts and what his and you will come to pass. 1,006 times the Bible says, then I will do this. It's a lot of times. You can count on it. God sent me in this. So you have things that you can trust him in. You just, you follow his formula and it works. But if you're expecting God to do things that are outside of his nature, you'll be disappointed. So how do you trust in his promises? You find out what they are, you find out who God is, and then you begin the process of trust. God bless you. Have a great day.